Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Grayson, this is Tech With Me, and I think that hard drives might be dying. And not like physically dying, but like the technology. I think it's going away. And I guess that makes sense because there are some better options out there now. And for a while there, those options were still there, but they were so expensive, just fiscally, it didn't make sense. These prices have gone down a ton nowadays. And it's kind of crazy because when I first started building PCs six or seven years ago now, I remember going to buy like a 250 or 500 gig solid state drive and you would have to drop a couple hundred bucks, which is astronomical. Because back then having terabytes of solid state storage just didn't make sense when you were making even like not even a budget PC build, but just like a high end PC build. It still didn't make sense to have that much solid state storage. As a matter of fact, in my original PC, not this one, but the one that came before, I had nothing but two terabytes of hard drive storage. Back then, it was really common for people to have 256 gigs or 250 gigs of solid state storage just to run their OS on and maybe a couple of their most used games. And then they would use a hard drive or multiple hard drives for everything else. And times have definitely changed because now it's common for people to part out a build with no hard drive in it at all. And it just makes sense. Because you can get a two terabyte NVMe solid state drive nowadays for only like 90 bucks, which is so cheap. Even in comparison to a hard drive where you can get it for $850? Okay, I don't understand why this one's so expensive. This is definitely a joke. But you can get like a Western Digital Blue Drive that is two terabytes for only like 50 bucks. And that's obviously $30 less than the NVMe drive. But I think for most like standard PC builds, that extra 30 bucks doesn't really make a difference, especially when you look at the speed differences. Now, if you were building like a home storage PC or like a server, a NAS, something like that, maybe then it would make sense because you would probably be buying multiple storage drives. But even then, I feel like solid state drives have gotten so cheap that it might not matter. And you know, it wasn't until two years ago that I put my very first solid state into my build. It was a 500 gig, just standard drive. And I don't know that I could ever go back from that. As a matter of fact, a while back, I downloaded Cyberpunk 2077 and I accidentally put it on one of my hard drives rather than the solid state. And the difference was immense. I'm talking, it was two, three, even five minutes per loading screen, which is ridiculous nowadays. And it was so annoying that I uninstalled the game and reinstalled it on my solid state drive. But I guess that's where my argument is, is that solid state drives are just so much faster. They're becoming so much cheaper. Why would you want a hard drive nowadays? Why would you buy it? Like there's so few use points that I almost wonder if we're gonna be seeing them around for much longer. Not that I think that they're like totally going away. I feel like they're gonna become more and more niche over the next few years. You know, for example, look at Starfield, the new Bethesda game that takes place in space that just released. And it requires a solid state drive. It states that in the specs. It requires a solid state drive. And I guess that kind of makes sense because most developers develop for console first and both current gen consoles, the Xbox Series X and PS5, use solid state drives in them now. And in the case of the Xbox, I don't believe you can just plug in an external hard drive anymore. I mean, you can, but I think you can only play last gen games on it you have to have their proprietary solid state drive to run current gen games. And part of that I'm sure is making money on the proprietary aspect, but I think a big part of it is that a lot of these games now rely on the speed of a solid state drive to be able to load the resources quickly. And that actually makes sense to me because a solid state drive can be up to 100 times faster than a hard drive. 
which means if something is meant to rely on that speed, then it could never really run on a hard drive well. And not only could you have trouble running, it could just run into mishaps. If something's supposed to load in like that, but it loads in a lot slower than that, well, now you're in trouble. But even outside of gaming, in regards to like consumer level products, I think it's easy to say that a new technology is the baseline, is the expectation when it hits consumer level products rather than enthusiast products. And it is almost impossible to find a mid-end laptop nowadays, which I think most people would kind of fall in that area when buying a new computer that doesn't have a solid state drive in it anymore. As a matter of fact, I pulled up a couple of laptops on Best Buy's website that were all at or less than $500, which I think at least as far as like the average person is probably in and around where they're shopping at. And both of these computers have solid state drives in them. And why wouldn't they? Because if a solid state drive is getting cheaper for us, then it must be a whole lot cheaper for these manufacturers who are buying them in bulk with bulk pricing. Go to Best Buy's website or even Walmart's who I would argue usually is gonna use the cheapest parts to get the cheapest computers. And a majority of those machines are going to have solid state drives in them nowadays. It's so easy nowadays to get your hands on a machine with a solid state drive. Whether you're an enthusiast wanting the best laptop possible, an Apple user who's been using solid state for a lot longer than even most Windows computers have, or maybe you're just a standard consumer who wants a good bang for their buck. Once we're used to solid state drives, it's hard to go back and consumers are now becoming used to these solid state drives, to these faster speeds that they provide. I don't think hard drives are gonna be coming back. I think they're on their way towards being dead. But what do you guys think? Are y'all on my side? Do y'all think hard drives are dying? At least as far as a majority of use cases go? Or do you think that they're gonna be around for a really long time outside of just niche circumstances? I'm honestly not sure, but maybe you could change my mind or help me make mine up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. Guys, thank you guys very kindly for watching. My name is Grayson and this has been Tech With Me.